now let us see the design of bcd ripple counter already we discussed ripple counter 4 bit ripple counter that 4 bit ripple counter has got 16 states if we start with the first state 0000, 0, 0 then the last state will be 1111 uh, in between 0000, 0, 0, 0 to 1111 there will be intermediate 14 states and after the last state that is 1111 the counter resets to 0, 0, 0, 0. now let us see how this uh, 4 bit ripple counter uh, can be converted to a BCD ripple counter. BCD stands for binary coded decimal. So, this particular ripple counter, which is BCD ripple counter, will have the states which are which is BCD, that is binary coded decimal. So, if we want to represent a decimal number uh, into binary then usually we use this particular code that is binary coded decimal and as there are 10 decimal digits there will be 10 different codes for each of the <coughs> digit so the first code being 0000, 0, 0, 0 for decimal 0 then 0001 for decimal 1 so like that uh, for each of the digit there will be one code and finally for 9 it will be 1001 and uh, uh, after 9 uh, usually the next digit is uh, 0 so instead of uh, going to 1011 as in case of the 4 bit binary counter this particular BCD ripple counter uh, goes to the <coughs> initial state that is 0000. So, this is BCD <coughs> ripple counter. Let us see what change is required to be done in the original uh, ripple counter. Uh, this particular diagram is uh, very similar uh, to the earlier diagram only the change is that instead of uh, jk flip-flop uh, sorry instead of t flip-flop jk flip-flops are used here this is a ripple counter uh, like clock input is given to the first uh, flip-flop whereas the output of the first flip-flop is given as the clock input to the uh, second flip-flop uh, then the output of uh, the second flip-flop is given as the clock input to the next flip-flop <coughs> you can see here and the output of the third flip-flop uh, is given as the uh, clock input uh, uh, so little change as has been done here the output of the uh, and the first flip-flop is given as the clock input to the first and the uh, third flip-flop okay so uh, uh, here uh, this uh, even if you we do like that then it works as the uh, bcd ripple uh, counter okay so up to the uh, third flip-flop the output of the first flip-flop it is given to the next one okay so output of the second is given to the uh, third one and like that okay at this time because uh, the flip-flop is required to be resetted that is uh, after 1001 uh, it should go to 0000 so this particular special arrangement is done for the last uh, flip-flop uh, of which the k input is always connected to uh, 1 but the j input uh, is derived from the from the 
the outputs uh, which are the uh, q4 output and uh, uh, the q2 output okay uh, so if we uh, uh, q4 that is uh, the the bit which is having the weightage 4 and the bit which is having the weightage uh, 2 so at uh, that time uh, this particular flip flop uh, uh, toggles okay so uh, here you can see that the flip flop uh, uh, toggles when q2 and q4 they are uh, uh, 1 1 and of course at that time the negative edge uh, should be there that is at uh, uh, when q1 uh, is going q1 should go uh, low from high so if we look at the output of this particular flip-flop then it will be uh, having this particular state so this is the state diagram for this particular bcd ripple uh, counter so this is the uh, arrangement that is what is done inside the ic7490 7490 is the bcd ripple counter and the design is done uh, in this particular fashion uh, because BCD numbers we use in day-to-day -day life, so in many of the dashboards, uh, this particular BCD counters are used. So that are the applications of this particular BCD uh, counter. Uh, we can cascade this particular BCD counter so that uh, if it is required to display or it, if it is required to count uh, more than one digit, uh, we can use... Uh, this particular cascading technique and uh, uh, we can display the numbers uh, <coughs> to to the uh, required count for example here we are going to cascade uh, three bcd counter so that uh, we can display the numbers from 000, 000 that is decimal 000, 000 to decimal 999 that is 999 can be uh, counted or displayed with the help of this particular three decade decimal bcd counter uh, so here in this case uh, uh, the output of the first bcd counter uh, is given as the clock input to the next bcd counter uh, output of uh, that is the msb derived from the MSB output of the next BCD counter it is given as the clock input to the uh, next BCD counter. So how will how will this particular uh, decade counter will function? So you will be giving the clock pulses to the LS uh, D BCD counter. So the count of this particular BCD counter will uh, go up uh, if we uh, reset all these particular counters uh, such that they are they all are 0, 0, 0, 0, as shown in this particular first count then the at the next clock what will happen is that only the count of the bcd counter uh, this particular 10 to the power zero digit it will go up by one so you will have this particular count that is 0000 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 and 0001 so this is what will happen after the first clock uh, and at the subsequent clock what will happen is that only the output of this particular bcd counter will change and it will go up from 0000, 000, 000 to 0009 so this will happen at the uh, ninth uh, clock pulse the output of uh, this particular bcd counter will be uh, 100 uh, 1001 whereas the next two bcd counters output will be 0000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 only but at the next clock what will happen is that the first BT, bcd counter will reset that is from 9 
uh, we have seen that the bcd counter has got only 10 states so after 9 the next state is 0 so the next state of this particular counter will be 0 whereas this uh, counter output q8 output going 0 from 1 it is going uh, 0 from 1 here you can see that uh, the the sorry this this particular uh, bit going 0 from 1 the msd msb bit of the first bcd counter going 0 from 1 so that will trigger that will trigger the second counter so that gives one pulse to this particular counter and uh, what happens is that the output of the second bcd counter goes up by 1 and it is 0 0 0 1 whereas the first counter is reset that is 0 0 0 0 so eventually if we convert this particular number uh, to decimal it will be 0 1 0 so like that after 10 pulses have been received the output of the the this particular three ticket counter in decimal it will be 0 1 0 or in bcd uh, if it is to be represented it will be uh, 12 bits in this particular fashion uh, then again the subsequent pulses uh, received at this particular uh, input by this particular bcd counter will increase the count of this particular counter only and that will go from 0 to uh, 0 1 2 uh, like that and at the uh, when it becomes 9 then it will give one pulse to the next bcd counter so after one nine it will be two zero and like that so eventually what will happen uh, this particular counters output after receiving 99 pulses will go up to nine and uh, the output of this particular uh, bcd counter will be also nine so the state of this particular three decade decimal counter having received 99 pulses will be like this that is uh, no change uh, in the output of this particular bcd counter this bcd counter will be having the output 1001 and this bcd counter will be having the output 1001 at the at that particular state uh, the next pulse uh, next clock pulse at this particular bcd counter will make will reset this particular counter to 0 0 0 0 so this q8 goes from uh, goes to 0 from 1 so that triggers this particular counter uh, this gives one clock pulse to this particular counter its output is 1 0 0 1 so it goes to the next state that is 0 0 0 0 okay uh, and uh, because uh, this is given as the clock input to this particular bcd counter so this particular output q8 of the uh, second bcd counter has gone from 1 to 0 so that gives a negative edge to this particular bcd counter and this bcd counter gets the negative edge for the first time and it becomes one its output will will become one that is 0001 so like this uh, after 99th pulse the next plus that is 100th pulse at this will make the state of this three decade decimal counter to 0001 0000000 converted to decimal it will be 100 that is 100 okay so eventually the subsequent pulses will move up this particular count from 10 one uh, from, from 100 to 101 then 102 103 like that and finally uh, <coughs> after uh, 90 uh, 999th pulse at the 999th pulse the output of the uh, three decade decimal counter will be uh, 1001 1001 and 1001 so output of all the and bcd counters it will be 1001 and at the next clock all the bcd counters will reset to 000 okay so it has got thousand different state as uh, it is the three decade so it it is capable of uh, counting 
the uh, three decimal uh, the decimal numbers up to uh, three digits so the count will be from 0, 0, 0 to 999 9. so this is three decade decimal counter in this fashion you can have four decade decimal counter which can count up to 9999 or uh, even you can go you can cascade and uh, go for the bcd counter uh, uh, for the higher numbers <clears throat> so in this particular topic we have seen the design of uh, asynchronous counters in the beginning 4 bit asynchronous counter or ripple counter then the conversion of the uh, ripple counter to the bcd counter and uh, then we can uh, we can use the bcd counter to form the three decade or higher decade bcd uh, counter uh, in the next class we shall go for the design of uh, synchronous counters <clears throat>